Hey guys, Extremicide here with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Best Class Setup Guide. This is a series where I share with you the absolute best setup for various guns without all the fluff and over the top information that you don't really care about. I'm a bit late getting my guides posted compared to other YouTubers with good reason. I wanted to max out every gun so I could give you all an honest and informed analysis of these guns and my attachments and loadouts for them. I may not be the first to get the info out there, but I can promise you I've done my research. But keep in mind that these are my viewpoints and maybe you will and maybe you won't agree or disagree with them. And that's fine. I won't be getting overly technical by supplying statistics in these guides. Every time Modern Warfare receives a new patch and a weapon gets buffed or nerfed, those numbers change. So I'm not going to waste my time and yours giving you information that is going to end up being inaccurate in about a month's time. I stick with the basic type of rating, yes it's good or no it sucks. With all that out of the way, let's get started. So in today's best setup, we are talking about the Hogger 26, a light machine gun otherwise known as an LMG. The Hogger 26 is an underrated and unexpected addition to the LMG category. The Hogger 26, in a sentence, is a hybrid weapon that sits between an LMG and an assault rifle. It categorizes itself as an LMG thanks to its default 100 round high capacity magazine. However, the magazine is the 5.56 NATO cartridge, the least powerful ammunition type within the LMG category. Despite its limited stopping power, it will most likely only take 4 or 5 shots to take down an enemy with the Hogger 26. Its small size allows for a high fire rate, a manual recoil, and some of the best mobility compared to other weapons in this class. Even though it carries 100 rounds of ammo, it has a reload time of an assault rifle, without using sleight of hand as a perk. And that alone, ladies and gentlemen, is huge being that LMGs usually take forever to load. While leveling this weapon up, it's going to feel extremely weak until you start getting all the attachments put onto the gun, and then even then, it's still going to feel a little weak. With the exception of the fast reload speed, everything about this gun seems meh. It just seems okay. It's not a great gun, it's not a bad gun, it's just okay. This setup will serve you well in both core gameplay and Warzone, but quite honestly, Let's be real here for a minute. If I'm gonna put an LMG into my loadout in Warzone, it would either be the Bruin MK9 or the PKM. It would not be this gun. This setup improves upon the Hogger 26 accuracy, range, and control while taking a very slight hit to mobility. So with that said, let's take a look at my go-to loadout for this particular LMG. All right, so let's jump into this. First, we're gonna head up the muzzle. And we're going to select the monolithic suppressor. This is going to increase our damage range, but it's also going to keep our shots from showing up on the radar while in war zone. Then we're going to hop over to barrel and we're going to select the XRK ultralight. This is going to increase our aim down sight speed. Then we're going to do a huge jump over to stock and we're going to select the FSS Ranger. This is going to increase our aiming stability. Dropping down to under barrel, and we're going to select the Commando Foregrip. This is going to increase our recoil stabilization and our aiming stability. And finally, we hop over to Rear Grip, where we're going to select the Rubberized Grip Tape for more recoil control. Now the only thing this gun needs is the perfect loadout. Okay, so here's the deal. I was on the fence on whether or not to include the loadout that I use when leveling this gun up, but I kind of knew that if I didn't include it, someone was going to ask for it, so here it is. Now, keep in mind that this is only an example loadout, a suggested loadout, that worked well for my playstyle and my strengths. This may not necessarily be a best fit for you. Only you know what your playstyle is like and where your strengths lie. With that said, I strongly urge everyone to modify this example loadout to best suit your own gameplay style and strengths. The loadout overall is a personal thing, so make it personal to your own play style. And that brings us to our question of the day. Okay. Alrighty. So let me know your answer in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. 
And with that said, if anything in the video helped you out at all, then please throw the video a like. And if you want to see other videos by me, throw me a sub. Anyways, until next time, be good to one another. Exterminicide out.